Hey yo what's up guys it's Austin here and welcome back to a new video. In the previous video I showed you guys how to create a Hackintosh with macOS on it using the Intel NUC. In this video I'm going to add in Windows 11 and Linux to make it a triple boot machine. And yes, I'm aware that Open Core is better than Clover in many aspects, but since I created my Hackintosh before Open Core was popular, I'm going to stick with Clover for this guide. First, we need a few things before installing the two OS's. We need both the Linux ISO and the Windows ISO. We also need Rufus to load the ISO into the USB. And of course, we need one or two empty USBs. Be sure that you aren't going to use any of them because the USBs will be formatted. In this video, I'm going to use this blue USB to install Windows, the red USB to install Linux, and have this small USB contain my Clover bootloader, which will come in handy very soon. If you haven't created the Clover bootloader USB or somehow formatted after installing macOS, be sure to look at my previous video and go to this timestamp. The links of all the software needed are linked in the comment sections down below. We can now start with installing Linux to the USB. The order doesn't really matter, but in this tutorial I'm going to install Linux first because it will be much easier to debug things if the boot order goes wrong. I'll talk more about that later. Now we go to the Ubuntu website, which is the Linux distro that I want, and then download the ISO for Ubuntu Linux. Then go to the Rufus website to download Rufus. After that, open Rufus and select your USB and D settings to install the ISO into the USB. After installing Linux in your first USB, we can now install Windows 11 on the other USB. If you really only have one USB, you can install Linux first and then clear out the USB for the other OS. You can always come back and view the timestamps which are provided in the description box down below. Back to installing Windows 11, you will need the ISO. Since Windows 11 isn't officially released yet, I can only download the developer version, which is the leaked version. Because of that, I cannot directly link it yet. If you really need the ISO, which should be pretty obvious if you did some googling, PM me and I'll see what I can do. Otherwise, if you're watching this video after the official release, just go to the Microsoft website and download the Windows 11 ISO. After obtaining the ISO, Go to Rufus and load it on the USB. In this case, it will be my blue USB. After that, you're ready to install the two OS's into your Hackintosh. In my particular model, the Intel NUC 7 i7 B&H, I have an NVMe SSD slot and a SATA slot. Since macOS already took up the whole NVMe SSD, I bought an additional SATA SSD and partitioned it to fit Windows and Linux. Now plug in the USB that contains Linux. You can start with Windows and that's fine, but for this tutorial I'm going to start with Linux. Be sure to hit F2 to go into the BIOS and check Prioritize USB Devices. And then hit F10 to save and exit. The Linux installer should show up. Follow the steps like you would normally do. And if you haven't partitioned your drive yet, be sure to do it here. You can partition your drive by clicking on something else and allocate space for Linux and Windows. I'm not going to hit install on this one because I already installed Linux a while ago on this machine. But if this is your first installation, you should hit next. Alright, after that you should successfully load into Linux and that's one more OS to go. If the bootloader turns into Grub, which is Linux's bootloader instead of Clover, you can either use the Clover USB and check if Linux is installed properly, or you can fix the booting issue later, and I would advise doing that actually because, spoiler alert, Windows Boot Manager will overlap Clover again. So just save yourself some time and ignore it for now. Now shut down the machine and change your USB to the one with Windows in it. In this case, it will be my blue USB. The Windows installer will appear and just install it as usual. In this case, I'm going to install Windows 11 Pro, but it doesn't really matter what version you install. And after installing, there you have it! Windows 11 is successfully installed. And if you're using the Intel NUC like me, be sure to download the Intel Audio, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Graphics drivers through the Intel website. Okay, now you have both OS's downloaded, you might be asking, 
Wait, my machine doesn't boot into Clover bootloader, but instead boots into Windows directly. Well, that's when the Clover USB comes into play. If you haven't created yet, go to my previous video and go to this timestamp for further instructions. Once you have the Clover USB, plug it in and load it into Linux. Open Terminal and type in sudo efi boot manager. It will show you a list on how your machine is booting currently. And as you can see, my boot order is incorrect because it starts from the NVMe SSD, SATA SSD, the USB, a Clover boot entry that we don't really need, and then Windows Boot Manager. To change the boot order correctly, we start off with the actual Clover bootloader. In my case, it's called Clover Start Boot.efi at Nutkintosh HD. Find the values where it's at. For me, it's at 000A, 000B, and 000C. Sort the rest of the boot order by your own preference, but I don't think it really matters because Clover will appear first anyways. To actually make the change, type in sudo efi boot manager dash o and the correct boot order. In my case, it looks something like this. Hit enter and reboot. And it should correctly load into Clover. If you have any weird entries on Clover, you can try using my config file. Just go to my GitHub repo and download this file. Open UEFI folder using Clover Configurator and replace your config file with mine. But be sure to back up yours before proceeding in case anything happens. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys like this video. As always, feel free to comment in the comment section down below if you got any questions. Consider giving this video a like if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.